Um, how did you come up for with the idea to like write this book? Oh, it's a great question, Nina. So what happened was I've been working with teenagers for many years. In fact, in my day job, I work with about 12,000 teenagers. Can you believe it? Across 12 different schools. I was always looking around for resources and books to share with young people in a way that was like relevant to where they were at, used easy to understand, non-religious language, and would communicate illustrations that most young people are actually dealing with and tackling today. And to be honest, there's just so little out there in the market for teenagers, Christian teenagers full stop, but especially young people who haven't got very much faith background. I really love that idea. I know when I gave it to her, um, part of the discussion we had was that she appreciated that you were talking directly to teens and very obviously and directly. Yeah, Yeah, I feel like most books aren't geared towards teenagers or if they are, they're like much older. I feel like your book definitely targets teenagers and kind of uses their own language. I know you were talking about you liked what was going on at the end of each chapter. Do you want to talk about that, Dave? Yeah, so at the end of every chapter, you get two things. You get some questions for reflections for you personally, or if you're in a group. So I know there's a group currently going through this at the moment. But then there's a little QR code. And if you scan the QR code, you get a video where there's young people giving you a recap of the topic. So we've got Reese and Nardos, two brilliant young people who we filmed. Yeah, and I'm going to brag on that a little bit for you. You guys, these videos, it's two teenagers, and they're they're not like – today we're going to open our bibles and talk they're just like kind of sitting on the couch shooting the breeze they're bringing up some like normal everyday examples and i like it because just the video alone would give them at least something to be able to participate actually recent now it's just amazing they're normal young people so they're not like trained presenters who are just kind of delivering it uh, on road that they're genuinely engaging with and they helped actually shape some of the language and and input. most of the stuff that I do is done with young people, not to young people. And I think that's a really important point for people who are working with young people to recognize. 